Hey, my friends, Greg Denny here. How do you let go of the judgments of other people and learn to really judge things for yourself from a place of confidence and assurance instead of constantly second guessing yourself and being filled with self doubt and worry and kind of being hypersensitive to to whether you're doing the right thing or what other people will think about it. Like how do you, how do you get to that solid place where you're like, "Hey, I feel I don't have all the answers, but I feel really good. I, I have some assurance and confidence here, clear direction like I know what to do." How do you get to that spot? Because if you're if you're like most people, you're constantly in hesitation and worry and self-doubt and you're afraid of making mistakes and you're really afraid of looking like a fool in front of other people. And so we're constantly listening to the judgments and opinions of others and maybe even find yourself vacillating between people's opinions. Like you come up with an opinion and then you hear something else and you bounce over here and then you hear another thing, you bounce over there. How do you get a solid perspective about who you are, how you treat other people, and the principles and practices that govern your life, right? Because real high performers are super clear about those three things. So I have a rock solid answer for you, but it is not an easy answer. And it's not a quick fix, but it is a long-term fix with long lasting results that are awesome. And I gotta back up and say, I was there. Oh man, was I there. Just constantly uh, bouncing from idea to idea, unsure of myself, listening here, listening there, wondering if, if anything I was doing was the right thing to do. And, and uh, I lacked assurance um, in myself and, and I lacked confidence. I was constantly insecure. And, and so then the judgments of others meant so much to me and I was listening to their opinions and I was, I was reaching out for their validation to give me worth and value. And then just constant, constantly living in this, what am I doing? Is it the right thing? Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my life? Am I wasting my money? What in the world's going on? So here is the rock solid answer. Again, not a simple answer, not a quick fix, but it's the reality check. And the, the reason we, we often find ourselves in this position of, of not knowing, lacking confidence and assurance is we haven't yet paid the price mentally to learn the lesson. So let me give you a couple of ideas. Number one, take, and this, this is the fun part. I hope, I hope you take this. Um, it often seems overwhelming. And I think that's why we avoid it. We, we spend our time buffering and we turn to entertainment and, and we turn to other things because we're, we're avoiding the thought work. Um, somebody has said that, that thinking is the hardest thing there is to do. Like real true thinking. It's challenging, but you can learn how to do it and you can get better at it as you practice. So the first thing I want you to do is take an idea and see it from every angle. Earl Nightingale said we should see it like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Turn the whole thing over in our minds. You might take a big pad of paper and just write out every kind of idea and angle and perspective and see your current side and see other people's side. And just consider angles. Now, at first, you might be saying, well, I don't know. I don't know any other angles. And I recently did did a podcast about the I don't know syndrome. It's a, it's a name I came up with where we use I don't know as a stopping point. And so you might say, well, I don't know what the other angles are. And you use that as a stopping point. Well, don't allow that of yourself. Force yourself to sit there and think of the other angles. And what happens is, is this is training. You're, you're training your mind to engage. And you sit there thinking like, how might somebody else see this? What might be the other possibilities and perspectives? How could this fail? How could this succeed? How could this work? How has it worked? Can I see examples of this anywhere in society and throughout history? And then here's, here's the big part, and that's a fun activity. You can do that with everything, every part of your life. But here's where it really gets good. It's in the books. When we're reading the great books, listening to great podcasts, watching great videos, just consuming the, the best ideas from the greatest thinkers of all time, that 
is when we get solid. When we really study, when we really pay a price, when we really expand our reality beyond our current demographic. See, most of us think the way we've been trained to think in the space where we grew up. So our home, our family, our neighborhood, the socioeconomic surroundings, like we, we tend to think like everybody else in that area. Even if you think you're like a super independent people, I'm not like them. We, the training is we think inside those parameters, those boundaries. And so when we expose our minds to new ideas, it changes the way we think. So for example, let's, let's pick an example of um, pursuing some kind of business. I would go out and I would read several books, really great books about that idea, about that concept, about that principle, and I would devour them. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a solid base and you're gonna be writing and annotating and thinking and comparing and then you do the mind work like I was talking about, see it like the rotisserie chicken and see it from every angle, write it all out. Then once you've paid the price mentally, you've done the homework, you've saw it from many angles and heard from many great voices with tons of expertise and, and, and experience, then, then you can say, man, I have a solid opinion on this because I paid a price with the best thinkers. Now, there's a lot of garbage out there and there's a lot of bogus ideas. So measure those, the things, you might read a book and it's just way off. You might hear a, a video or a podcast, just totally erroneous. So make sure you're measuring it against the great thinkers. And if you can find multiple leaders and philosophers and teachers saying similar things, then you know you have a solid idea. And think about that. Once I've paid that price, again, I, I, didn't, I told you this wasn't an easy answer. But once I've paid that price, I've read solid books. Look, I got a whole stack of books right here, right here on my desk, right? I'm gonna stack them. There's, these are ones I was working on this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna keep stacking. Look, I got a big old stack. I got three more right over here. So these are all books that I'm working on. Okay, right here, boom. That's a great list of books, right? From history to business to leadership to habits. And if, if, you, if you dig through this list of books and you really study, you don't just kind of casually read over, you study, you underline, you mark, you annotate, you think, you take notes, you, you put it in practice, you, you try it, you test it. At the end of a stack, you're going to be able to, you know, roll your shoulders back, lift your chin up and say, yeah, I don't have all the answers, but I think I have a really clear idea. And then when other people share their opinions, you can say, actually, that's, that's really valid. I read about that. I thought about that. Or you might be able to say, well, actually, no, that's, that's not true. Thank you for sharing that. I, I, you know, I'll consider the insight. But, but from what I've read, what I understand, the way I've thought about it, the things I've practiced and tried, that's actually not, not accurate. And so it gives you this power position where, again, most of us are hesitating and vacillating. We're, we're timid. We're shy. We're filled with self-doubt and worry because we haven't paid the price yet. We haven't paid the price in education, in research, and in thinking. Just getting in there and really thinking it through. So take any area of your life where you're, where you're struggling. Relationships. A lot of people are struggling with relationships. How do I make these work? How do I make them better? And everybody and their dog has relationship advice. <laughs> and not all of it is very good. So you might wonder, what do I do? Grab relationship books devour them. You might be struggling with health and fitness and there's so many ideas out there. Well, this is what you need to do and this is what you need to do and don't eat that and you should eat that and they're the exact opposite. How in the world do you decide about that? Do the research, do the homework, do the experimentation. Listen to people you trust who have results. Like and <laughs> make sure that is key. Follow the people who have results. They're in fantastic shape and great health, and they have been for a long time. Listen to them, right? Um, if, if they have a rock-solid, extraordinary marriage, listen to their advice, right? If they have a successful track record in living deliberately and living the kind of life you want to live, listen to that advice. 
and, and again, just the, the answer to your question is how do I how do I let go of other people's judgments and learn to live independent of the opinions of others? So we can we can consider what they're saying, but it's not it's not pulling me this way and then pushing me that way, and it's not moving me out of my ground. I'm considering, I'm learning, I'm observing, and then I'm be able to I'm able to make my own clear decisions and feel confident and assured in those things because I've paid a price. So if you want a book of recommendations, shoot me a message. I have a whole list of books. I've been reading, you know, I've averaged a book a week for over two decades. And so just about any subject, I got some great books that I've read that I'd love to share and recommend with you. Pay a price. Uh, listen to my podcast. Get in and listen to the podcast where I'm covering topics again every week. I'm covering different topics and telling stories and backgrounds, experiences, sharing the books I'm reading from, the lessons I've learned in this journey of over 20 Man, 25 years of just devouring personal development and peak human performance. Like how to, how to become our very best and get clear about these ideas and know what actually works and what doesn't. And all this information and noise out there, what's true and what's false? And what's accurate and what's inaccurate? So pay the price, my friends, with whatever it is. So right now, here's my advice to you. Pick the thing that you're most uh, unsettled about. And then study it, get some books, study it, think about it, talk to people about it without absorbing what they're saying. Just observe what they're saying, hear it, get some different perspectives outside of your, your current circle. Like reach outside and, and often the reach up, reach up. Try to, try to connect with, ask questions from people that are, uh, um, that are above you, meaning they've progressed further along that path than you have. Ask them and, and, and just take that all in. Take notes on it. See it like the rotisserie chicken. See it from every angle. Really get a solid perspective. Now, the danger is you might you might read five books and be like, I'm the expert here and nobody else knows anything. And then you don't listen to anybody. And we don't want to be arrogant or pompous or think I know it all because you might catch these nuggets. In fact, not might, you will. You'll catch these beautiful nuggets of truth and wisdom by listening. And remember, like Emerson said, every single person you meet is your superior in some way. And in that way, you can learn from them. And that's powerful stuff. So get out, do the work. I told you, it's not an easy answer, but it's a solid answer. Do the work, read the books, or listen to the audio books. Like, think about it, work through it, get solid on your perspectives. And then you learn to live independent of the opinions of others and their judgments. And you're operating at your best and living life the way you want to live life. Go make it happen, you guys. Remember, training for greatness. Training for greatness. Awesome is always an option. Reach upward.